Hey guys, hello America. My name is Will Moore and I'm a photographer. And I get in my car and travel throughout the country looking for that next great shot. So come on. Well, hey guys, it's Wilmore again with another episode of Somewhere in America. And guys, today um, I want to talk with you just a few minutes about um, um, photography. And what I want to talk about photography before we get into the lesson real quick is um, photography is a beautiful thing. I'm, I'm very passionate about it. Um, to talk about my life, hey, I I started doing photography uh years ago. Um I it found me. I was a art major and I was a graphic design major and I always needed somebody to take pictures of my work and there was never anybody to do it and so every time I would find somebody they would end up just going somewhere or doing something else and running off. So I never had a consistent photographer. So I just that's why how I ended up with a camera in my hand. I always loved photography and everything. I said all that to say this today real quick. I'm not going to take too long of this because I want to get right into the lesson because I don't want this podcast to go too long. But there is so many photographers that are on YouTube and that are doing programs and workshops all over the country, all over the world. And my hat's off to every one of these guys that are doing some great work that are posting on 500px, Flickr, um, Pixado, you name it, every, I mean, Viewbug, everything, Facebook, all these social medias to get their work out there. And a lot of photographers are like just up and coming. And I really, really admire them. Now, I'm not only a photographer, but I'm also an educator and, I'm, uh, and, and, and I've been teaching a long time. And what I'm really starting to see a lot on YouTube and it's starting to bother me. And I don't know if it's bothering some of you guys out there a bit that are like either like me still learning and up and coming and just trying to just share with the gift that you have but there's just a lot of photographers out there that are really 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 I guess because they've arrived I don't know because they've made it um they would never really take the time to talk to you because guess what they've made it ha huh? they don't need to talk to you so you know but but they really really have gotten to the point where they're making they're starting to make a lot of photographers including myself some people including myself I can say myself feel really intimidated um there is this number one there's this impending situation going on uh is mirrorless better than mirrored cameras you know um uh the sony versus the nikon the nikon versus the canon what's better what does better for you the fact of the matter is is that guess what i have experienced all of them play with all of them and they're all great cameras guys I'm just gonna say it like that they're all great cameras it just depends on what you want to do what you're trying to accomplish so the bottom line is that if you're a person that you like a lot of sharpness you want to be able to blow up all your images really really large then guess what you might have to go into <laughs> really funny you might have to go into a 5,000 6,000 high-end camera you're doing nature shots and wildlife if you just want a smaller camera but it does all the things that a big camera can do then you need to get a good Sony um, a6000 or an OMD Olympus OMD or some mirrorless camera that where it where it just has I mean this is just no mirror there's no gadgets don't have to worry about any parts moving and it does a beautiful job but if you're just a photographer that you still feel like you know what I have no problem with my Nikon D800 or my Nikon 750 or my Nikon D7000 and I still love using this I like having that then by all means that is what you use that is what you produce your work with because at the end of the day guess what it is not it is not the camera that is just these are just tools that we use to create and to create a beautiful artistic piece this media called photography is great it's beautiful it's a lot of fun you can have a lot of fun with it 
But what makes it so boring, what makes it so drab is when you have these techies out there, these quote unquote so-called professionals that have made up in their mind that they're going to tell you this is how it's done, this is how it's done, this is what you should use, this is what's going to do it for you, and have even created podcasts, guys, podcasts to center around this. They have created shrines around the Sony mirrorless camera. They've created shrines around the Canon um, D Mark three or whatever they, all these other cameras i'm not even gonna get into the technical terms because i've seen them play with them and i don't know all of them but i'm not going to get into that but guys let me tell you something doing this medium right here is very very beautiful i'm an art teacher i've been around a lot of work i used to tell my students a lot of times when they were taking my painting class they would say so should i go and spend like 15 dollars for a tube of paint and i said really you don't have to guess what that five dollar tube of paint will do the same thing that 15 dollar tube of paint do and guess you can go ahead and slap that paint on there it is you the creative the creative ability is inside of you pull it out of you Get to your camera. I don't care if it's a, a point and shoot. Get to it. No study books. Get books. Look at some of the YouTubes. Look at some of these great photographers. I'm not saying don't look at them. Great. Go to them because they got a lot of great, beautiful information to put out. Learn from them. But ultimately, at the end of the day, it is you, your eye that will that that you want to capture that image that you that you saw that day, that sunset that beautiful day at the beach, your little daughter, your little son, um, the kid, the family reunion, whatever it was, you want to be able to capture that and capture it beautifully. Okay. Without hearing all the stuff, everybody has just got a lot of stuff. Everybody's a pundit. Everybody's got information. So that's my rant at the beginning of 2015 here somewhere in America about my myself as a photographer and fellow photographers guys let's let up off of these people and allow them to create if they make mistakes then that's when we step in and help if they're doing really well let them know they're doing really well if they compliment you on one of your videos on YouTube or peace take the time out smell the roses stop sit down at your computer and guess what Email these people and address some of these 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 um these thank you notes and tell them I appreciate you saying that I don't have the time to go into it a whole lot uh, and talk with you but I appreciate you telling me that I'm doing a good job or that I'm thanking you take the time my mother always says take a little time to stop and tell somebody that you really appreciate them for liking your work and supporting your business and supporting your photography so with all that said guys that's my rant for the day i'm done i'm off my soapbox hey let's get to work real quick i don't want this to be a long podcast but i think it's already gotten too long ready with my little preaching message so <laughs> let's move on okay so somewhere in america i found out that guys as i said before america's a great place you don't have to go overseas because guess what you know when you go to paris and you want to see that 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 little arch and it looks really great and you want to take pictures of it guess what bada bing bada bang you don't have to do it anymore it's right here in america and you can see it for yourself i took three bracketed shots of it straight on i don't too much care about it um, i like the colors and everything i like with the lights looking i don't like these hard shadows up there and um, then there was light coming from here and then there's also lens flare so I decided to move around and don't be afraid guys when you're taking pictures don't be afraid to move around the subject because that's the only way you're going to get what you get really get what you need and you might take like a hundred pictures and get home and go through all of them and then you might say wow I didn't realize that that angle was really great but I found out that the angle downward down looking up and to the side and even though I got some of the harsh shadows here but I still get a nice 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 set off to the side the pathways looking great now I'm not gonna do an HDR today however I did take three bracketed shots I'm gonna go into HDR Pro in Photoshop and just tweak a few things a little bit because I just wanted to get the full dynamic range in this hold um, in the whole thing so that's the only thing I want to go ahead and reset this I'm gonna reset this so I just wanted to get just a full dynamic range in all of this okay so let me go to this one 
and let me let's go, let's go ahead and get started all right so as you know uh, this is my white balance I think what I'm gonna go for is I'm gonna go for daylight on this okay I'm gonna open up the exposure just a little bit just bring it to the right just make it brighten it up just a little bit okay not too much I don't want it to be blown out I'm gonna come down to my lens correction I'm going to enable profile correction remove chromatic aberration I'm gonna hit auto let's see what auto does nope don't like auto let's see what level does levels fine let's keep it that way I like that I'm gonna come on down here to uh, not camera calibration yet let's go back up here alright I'm gonna do bring down my highlights I'm gonna bring up the shadows look at all the information that just showed up I'm gonna hold down the alt key I'm gonna go to the right all right, until I see some pixels. All right, going to back that off, and then I'm going to go to the left until I start getting a little more blacks. And uh, right there, and that's looking pretty good right there. It's a lot of blue here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take out some of that blue. I don't want too much of it. There we go. And I don't want too much of the yellow. I don't want to warm it up that much yet. Now I'm going to add a little bit of magenta. Oh, yes. Go. Ah. Caliente is looking hot and a little clarity and a little vibrance and um, I'm not going to mess with the saturation too much because if you go too much with saturation, um, look at what you get, you know, look, look, the arch is now looking like a banana. I don't want to, I don't want that. So on the saturation, I'm going to, I'm just going to back it off, maybe a negative two right there. All right. Now that's looking good. Now, now let's jump down and to camera calibration and I'm going to go with vivid. I like that. Vivid looks great. Let's see what landscape looks like. Okay, yeah. Let's go with Vivid. Vivid it look, looks great. Generally, when I'm doing a landscape, I would go with landscape. But now nah, I'm going to go with Vivid. Ah, Vivid's looking good. Okay, so now I'm going to come on up, and there is noise. See, that's another thing that really bothers me. Everybody's always screaming about the noise. Oh, there's so much noise. I need, I don't like all that noise. I need clarity I need sharpness let me tell you something when there was nothing but film that's all you got was noise I'm gonna do another podcast where I'm gonna show a comparison of an Ansel Adams and I'm gonna do uh, um, I'm gonna do uh, uh, one of my photographs I'm gonna process it and I'm gonna show you um, something in black and white but since we want to do get rid of some of this grain or some of this this noise here I'm gonna go ahead and add a little luminance okay I'm gonna hold down the alt key on the masking I'm going to go to the right and that is silhouetted. Let's see. Hold on. Yep. That's a nice little silhouette right there. Okay. And I'm going to add just a little bit of sharpness and a little bit of detail. And uh, uh, let's do the color. Take out some of the color noise. So I'm going to, on the color noise, I'm going to do like this. Let's see what happens when I take out a lot of that color noise. Yep. Look at that, beautiful. Took all that color noise. That's 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 great. I like that and a little smoothness. Beautiful. Okay, all right. That is looking good. I like what I see. This is looking really really nice. It's a little blue up here. I don't want the sky to be that blue, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go up here to the uh, uh, right here to my sliders. To my saturation and I'm gonna take out some of that blue now I don't want to take out too much because guess what I don't want to end up with a halo over here so I don't want to take out too much of that blue and I don't want to put too much. there we go that's one of the things you gotta be careful about when you talk when you when you're dealing with saturation so let's take some of that saturation out. okay that's looking good alright so I'm gonna take this image I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna take this one and this one and I'm gonna go up here and sync them check all synchronize and it is syncing my images on this one is a little dark so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open up the exposure just a little bit that was kinda cool though I really kinda was digging that that look at that that's kinda pretty but anyway we're not going for that so let's do this alrighty and that's nice right there and on this one and you see how that little jump right there? That's no big deal because it's going to straighten it up when we get over there to HDR Pro. Alrighty, and let's bring it down just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to go with these. I'm going to right click, right click, edit, 
merge to HDR Pro and when I do when I click on this I'm gonna set pause until it finished merging okay guys we are now in HDR Pro alright now like I said I, I, I'm not doing an HDR I'm not I'm, so I'm not gonna get into a whole lot of things here but I just wanted to just use this to just to tweak some things a little bit okay I could leave it at default but I don't want to do that I went through all the leaves pre-selects before with you when y'all everybody knows that I'm gonna go down to photorealistic so I'm gonna hit on photorealistic I like what I'm seeing there I'm gonna hit edge smoothness my radius I'm gonna keep my radius at like about 91 my strength I'm gonna bring my strength down to like about 30 keep that about 30 and my gamma um, if I went to if I was doing the gamma it would look pale I'm not doing that I'm gonna go this way on gamma so I'm gonna just keep gamma right about there my exposure is gonna stay the same on details I'm not going for an HDR look see look look at all the little halos around there Ugh, that's looking crappy Ugh. so on the details I'm not gonna go this way because I'm gonna I don't I'm not going for that dreamy look either so what I want to do is I'm gonna stay right right around maybe 80 I'm going to stay right around 80. On the advanced, the shadows, leave the shadows alone, highlights. Uh, you see what I did when I did those highlights? See what I did? Look at all that overexposed. So let's bring these highlights down just a little bit. Not too much. There we go. The shadows. And let's leave the shadows alone. Vibrance I'm going to leave alone. Saturation I'm going to leave alone. The curve, I'm going to come down here into my darks. And I'm going to bring that down just a little bit. And in my lights. I'm going to create an S. I'm going to go up just a little bit. And not too much. Not too much because I don't want to take all my detail out. And on the shadows, um, there we go. Because I want this to be a nice little evening, little evening shade. Nice evening shade. And we're going to remove all ghost. I want anything, if there's any ghosting, I want to remove all ghosting. <laughs> Okay, let's click OK, and I'm going to pause until this is finished, and it goes back into Photoshop. Okay, great. All right, we are now back into Photoshop. I like what I see right here, and so I'm going to go ahead up to File. I'm going to close, and I'm going to hit Yes, and it's going to send it back to Lightroom so we can finish processing this, Peppy. All right. And we are back in Lightroom, and here is our image. All righty. So let's go ahead and retouch the retouching. All right. <laughs> let's retouch the retouching. So now I'm going to go ahead and now warm it up just a little. Well, no, let me bring the blue back. Uh, let's, let's warm it up just a little bit. And we add a little bit magenta. And, and let's bring that blue back. I might, I might be bouncing back and forth with that. On the highlights, I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. And on the shadows, come up just a little bit. Look at that. Looking good. Um, on the whites, yeah, let's get rid of this. On the whites, I'm gonna hold down the alt. I'm gonna go to the right until I see some pixels, and back down. And on the blacks, I'm gonna bring some blacks in there, and yeah, not too many blacks, not too much blacks. And of course, a little clarity and a little vibrance. And I am gonna do a little more saturation. Oh, I gotta do a little more saturation. That is looking good right there. Alrighty. And on the blue, I'm gonna bring the blue down just a little bit. Not too much. There we go. And um on the sharpening, let's see how sharp we are. We still eh, we still doing pretty good. But listen, let's go ahead and bring some more sharpening in. And I'm gonna bring some sharpening up to maybe like forty three. Yeah, details, details. Hold down the shift key, go to the right. Okay, let's let's break this off. Make sure I got it right. Yep, that's that's oh that's pretty cool right there. And um Oh that's good sharpening. I like that. That's looking pretty good. Okay. And um Alrighty. Alright, and um of course enable and remove chromatic aberration. Alrighty. And now I'm gonna take a brush. I'm gonna take a brush. And I'm going to go into exposure. And I'm going to bring that temperature, the exposure up just a little bit. Not temperature, but exposure up a little bit. And uh, I got this, I got this connected, I got this checked at auto mask. And I want that to stay there. So I'm going to go here on the side of the building. 
and I'm going to go on the inside uh, right here where the lights are hitting and over here alrighty and uh, I'm going to get a new brush and I'm going to take the auto mask off alrighty and I'm going to raise the temperature the exposure up a little bit but I'm going to, going to go into temperature and I'm going to go into yellow I'm going to add a little magenta and I'm going to come down here and uh, let's just just a little just random lighten that up a little bit see if I go to the blue well, that's pretty cool um, let's do this like that let's do that okay I like that I like that and let's do that a little bit of that alright and I'm gonna get another brush and this time I'm going to the darks and I'm gonna go around the sides just around the sides do a little of my own vignetting a little of my own post crop vignetting alrighty that's looking pretty good there let's get another brush and I want a little more darks let's get a little dark right here and I'm getting another brush and this time I am going to do some warming up I'm going to go to yellow and some magenta and I'm going to click on my auto mask and the sun was still going down so I know it was catching the sun was going down over here so it was definitely catching some of this those sun those sun rays and a little bit of that a little bit of that even though the lights is balancing with it so alrighty and let's add a little bit more oh, I like that that is looking really nice okay alrighty and you know what in fact I'm gonna go ahead even though it's a little shadow over here I'm gonna go ahead and maybe bring some of that just a little bit over here there you go great maybe it's catching some of that sun who knows and I'm gonna grab another brush and I'm gonna keep it just like it is and I'm gonna go over into the light area and there was some was a glow of some I'm bring some of that that sunlight back over in here that that is looking gorgeous alrighty okay and if I don't like this I don't like um, this a little bit I can go ahead and bring that not that one but um, yeah, that's fine that's good that's good I like that okay that's great now I want to hit done on that let me go ahead and grab um, this right here a graduated filter I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one and um, I'm going to come in from the, sh the side a little bit. I'm going to come in from the side just a little bit. And um, these temperatures, I need to go ahead and do this. I'll make sure I'm on exposure. And I want to go ahead and bring that just a little bit there. Let's bring that down right about here. And let's open up the shadows just a little bit. Okay. That's looking good. Let's bring that back up. All right, and I'm going to bring up one right here. That's beautiful. And let's bring in one right here. All right, not too much. Let's bring that back. There we go right there okay guys that's looking really good right there I'm gonna go ahead and hit oh, done on that one and do the last little thing is just a little post crop vignetting not too much this is roundness and feather okay guys that looks that looks really really nice I really and I really enjoyed doing this lesson with you guys I'm gonna bring this down just a little bit I don't know it's not gonna be a panoramic but I want to bring that down a little bit and bring this up just a little bit uh, let's see. 
right there. Nope. Let's bring it right about there. Okay. I like what I see, guys. This looks really, really nice. It's a beautiful piece. I right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you didn't mind my rant too much. <laughs> however, 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 um, I really enjoyed it. And um, guys, remember, write me. The, the 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 address is right down at the bottom there. Um, www.willmorephotography.com contact me call me up talk to me please let me know how you feel about the podcast let me know how you feel about my rant if you feel the same way anyway be good to each other create be kind to one another if you don't have anything nice to say then guess what my mother always say put a shoe in your mouth and keep on moving <laughs> anyway god bless everybody have a great evening bye bye or oh, have a great day Evening is for evening for me. I don't know what it is for you somewhere in America. God bless you. Bye bye.